Hello, this is Gogi from Gogi Dartin and you're watching the handset and gaming review of Micromax Bolt A069. Handset is available in different colors, supports 20 regional Indian languages and comes preloaded with the MAND application. Here are the SAR values as mentioned on the box. Let's go through the specifications. 1.3 GHz dual core processor. 5 inch screen with FWVGA resolution, 512 MB RAM, 4 GB internal storage. Supports 2G, runs on KitKat and comes with a 1800mAh battery. Inside the box you'll find this handset. Battery of 1800mAh capacity. Screen guard. Download goodies. Manned application guide. Revery phone book guide. SAR information. Warranty card. User guide. Travel charger data cable and earphone. These are standard quality Micromax earphone. Key specifications are mentioned on the factory film. It says Jelly Bean but it's running KitKat. This is how the handset looks. The side view and the rear side. The back cover is matte finish and covers up almost 80% of the handset as you can see here. Almost the same design as seen on the Micromax Colors 2, however the Color 2 looks much better. The build quality and the finishing is good. Three touch sensitive buttons. You can see the mic here. Volume rockers on the left side. Power button on the right. Micro USB port and 3.5mm audio jack on the top. On the front there is the in-call speaker, camera and the sensors and this is the LED notification. On the rear you'll find the speaker out vent, Micromax logo and the 5 megapixel fixed focus camera with LED flash. Back cover is good quality plastic. The SAR values are also mentioned here. This is a dual SIM handset, SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2 and this is the micro SD card slot. This handset supports 2G. Weight with battery is 172 grams and it is about 9.90 mm thick. Let's power on. You see the Micromax logo and the Bolt animation. And here is the home screen. The icons are different. It is using a customized user interface. Touch is smooth and responsive. Backlit buttons. They do not light up as you can see. This is the phone dialer and here are the applications. Kingsoft Office comes pre-installed. Here is the quick settings option. Viewing angles are ok. You will not be able to see the screen clearly from several angles. Wi-Fi Direct is supported. Wi-Fi Hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is also supported. There is built-in GPS and uh, Hindi language is also supported. The keyboard supports 20 regional Indian languages as you can see here. This means you can actually type in any of these Indian languages. one27 GB is the space for apps of which 1 GB is available and one53 GB is the internal SD card. Here is the free space for apps and of the 512 MB RAM you get around 290 MB free. OTG doesn't work, I have connected an external pen drive using the OTG cable and it doesn't work. This handset is using the MediaTek MT6572 Cortex A7 dual core processor with Mali 400 MP GPU running Android KitKat with 854 by 480 pixels resolution. There are three sensors, accelerometer, proximity and light. The time is 11.29 pm, battery at 64% and the temperature at 36 degrees. The benchmark apps are running and you can also see the LED notification that's currently blinking here. Quadrant benchmark score is 4089, Antutu score is 11184, Vilamo Metal 710, Multicore 783, Browser 1366. Nina Mark 2 is 33.5 FPS and this handset supports 2 point multi touch. Here is the camera interface, panorama is supported. 
there is zero shutter delay, face detection, smile shot, HDR, 5 megapixel rear camera and uh, this is the VGA front camera. This is a fixed focus camera that can record 720p videos at 30 frames per second. After 22 minutes the battery dropped by 8% and the temperature is 34 degrees. Wi-Fi is on and I am going to set the brightness to maximum. I am going to play this video in a loop. This video was shot using the same handset. After 26 minutes the battery dropped by 9% and the temperature is 32 degrees. Modern Combat 4, this game got installed on the external storage. The game is not very smooth but it's playable. Asphalt 8, this game got installed on the external storage. It is set to the medium visual quality by default and I'm going to continue playing in that mode. The game is pretty smooth and playable. I played these games for about 18 minutes. The battery dropped by 10% and the temperature is 35 degrees. Micromax had initially launched the Vault A69 and they have relaunched it again called it the Vault A069 with some added features and running KitKat out of the box. This is a dual sim handset powered by a MediaTek dual core processor. There is minimal RAM of 512 MB and the cameras are fixed focus. This handset is available for a price of approximately 5200. It is cheaper than the Unite 2. Unfortunately, this handset doesn't support 3G. For full review sample images and videos, visit my website, kogi.in.